All right, folks, the subcommittee will come to order. We're going to hear today uh, on the fiscal year 2020 budget requests for the FCC and the FTC. We have uh, with us today our two chairmen from the FCC, Chairman Pai, who has served as chairman since January of 2017. He was a previously a commissioner on the Federal Communications Commission. He's a graduate, proud graduate of Harvard and Chicago Law. We also have from the Federal Trade Commission, Chairman Joseph Simmons. He's been chairman since May of 2018. Uh, he was previously a partner at Paul Weiss, where undoubtedly he made more money. Um, he was co-chair of the firm's antitrust group, and he's a graduate of Cornell and Georgetown Law. Uh, let me say a few words, uh, and then I'll call on my colleague, Senator Coons. Um, has indicated today we're convening the first hearing for the Financial Services and General Government Subcommittee for fiscal year 2020. Uh, I'd like to welcome my colleague, Senator Coons, and all the members of the committee. Uh, and I'm very pleased to be working with them. I look forward to us taking a collaborative approach to these hearings and to our 2020 appropriations bill. Um, our subcommittee is maybe small dollar-wise, but we are mighty and we are committed to, uh, to saving taxpayer money and spending what we spend wisely. Uh, the programs and agencies funded by this subcommittee, I don't need to tell our two chairmen, play an important role in supporting the American economy, ensuring a fair and efficient system of justice, and promoting private sector growth. Uh, the FTC, hugely important agency. It's the nation's top cop on the consumer beat. We want to make sure they're using their resources as efficiently as possible. I don't mean to suggest that you are not, but that's uh, what our questions will be directed toward. Uh, the FTC this year requests $312.3 million in fiscal year 2020, which is an increase of $2.6 million to fulfill its mission of protecting consumers and promoting competition. We're eager to hear about the new, F, new initiatives in the FTC's Bureau of Competition and Bureau of Consumer Protection. We're also anxious to hear about your new task force to monitor competition in technology markets and your efforts to ensure consumer privacy. So welcome, Mr. Chairman. Today, we'll also uh, talk with our, our chairman at the FCC about its efforts to expand the deployment of rural broadband to improve public safety and protect consumers. The president's budget proposes $335.7 million for operating expenses at the FCC for our fiscal year 2020. Now, the FCC has also identified four strategic goals for fiscal year 2020. Those include closing the digital divide, promoting innovation in the market for communication services, protecting consumer and public safety, and of course, improving FCC regulatory processes. And I'm looking forward to hearing how our friends at the FCC plan to execute these goals under their requested budget authority. I'm also looking forward to hearing about the FCC's plan to win America's race uh, for 5G through its ongoing and planned spectrum auctions while simultaneously protecting rural communities and incumbent office holders. Again, I want to thank you again uh, to both of you for appearing this morning before um, I, I uh, ask Senator Ranking Member, Senator Coons, to give his remarks. I just want to say an additional <coughs> word that occurred to me as I was walking over here today and it's really directed to all of us, particularly to our friends at the uh, FCC. We talked about this this morning, Mr. Chairman. Net, so-called net neutrality is hugely important 
to the American people. And uh, many reasonable people have different points of view on what we ought to do. Um, the, the, the problem is that regardless of what one thinks about the correct course with respect to net neutrality, we need to pick a course and stick to it because it's very, very hard for people and consumers who, who uh, rely upon net, net neutrality and have to comply with our rules. It's very hard when we uh, have the policy bouncing around like a ping pong ball. And I guess what, what I'm saying is, just this is one person's opinion, but it's really time for Congress to act. We need to roll up our sleeves. I think we have more in common than we don't. Um, we need to stop passing the buck, and we need to pass a net neutrality <clears throat> bill. Uh, with that, I will call on my colleague and esteemed ranking member, Senator Coon.